Welcome, 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 Polish mortals. Guess what? I'm back. <laughs> I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kristen. I am the host with the most, your ghost host, the host of the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast. And I know it's been a while since I put out any episodes. And if you were to look for the podcast out there, it was nowhere to be found. Well, something that was new to my life is that I started back at school again. I never finished my degree and I thought there's no time like the present to, to finish that. So unfortunately with finishing my po- with finishing my degree, I unfortunately had to let the podcast go. And I always said to myself, I'm going to restart it. I'm going to restart it. And talking to a few people made me really want to start the podcast again. So here we are. I'm, I'm back. So for the next few weeks, while I am n- still in school, my spring semester ends in a few weeks, and then I'll be on uh, summer vacation, I am going to be putting out all of my old episodes. So you can find them here wherever you listen to podcasts. And with all of those being out starting this summer, brand new episodes every week. Every week, every other week, I forget how I did it before. So brand new episodes will be coming, uh, hopefully coming to you guys this summer. So I'll have much more time to do that. And I'll hopefully be able to record a bunch. So when school starts up again in the fall, I still have tons of content to get out to you guys. So yay, I'm so excited. Well, before I start putting out the old episodes, I did want to record something to let you guys know why are these old episodes coming out? Why is this old? I mean, I'm sure you guys could be thinking, Kristen, we know this already. You've talked about this already. What What's going on? So I just wanted to come on and let you guys know what was going on, why I was doing this and all of that. So with all of that said, please stay tuned for, I guess, the very first episode of the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast. And for a while, you'll be hearing some old episodes. And hopefully this summer, I'll be bringing you some brand new episodes. I'm so excited to be back and so excited to be bringing my love of Disney to you guys. So I can't wait for you guys to hear new episodes. So enjoy the old episodes of the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast. And I will see you guys real soon. Welcome, foolish mortals. There's no turning back now. That's right. There is no turning back now, foolish mortals. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the very first episode of the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Kristen. I'm your host. You guys will get to listen to me every single week talk about my favorite thing in the whole world, besides my family. My number one obsession, besides my family, Disney. You're going to listen to me talk about all things Disney. Whether we're talking about the Disney parks, Disney movies, Disney music, Disney books, Disney products, anything Disney, whether it's the latest Disney news, whether it's a new rumor that we've heard about with Disney, if you're tuning in here, you're going to hear about it. So this is what the, the podcast is all about. It's the Disney Life Happy Wife podcast because for me, I'm a wife. And if it's a Disney life, then I'm a happy wife. So let's get right into it. Let me tell you a little bit more about me. I'm Kristen, like I said. If you're tuning in because you heard about this podcast through my blog, The Many Sides of Mom, welcome to all those followers. This is another outlet for you to hear more from me. And if you're tuning in because you follow along with my Instagram for the podcast, Disney Life Happy Wife Podcast on Instagram, If you follow me there, welcome to all those followers. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me and you're listening. This is so great. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this podcast for a long time, so I'm very excited that I get to bring this to you and you get to hear me talk about Disney. So I decided that I wanted to do this podcast because a lot of friends and family and coworkers and other, you know, friends of friends, that kind of thing. They all ask me about Disney. They know that I'm a big Disney fan, that I love going to Disney, I love traveling to Disney, all things Disney. So I get lots of questions. Oh, Kristen, did you see this movie? What'd you think of it? Oh, can you give me some advice on traveling to Disney? So I I love to give advice and I love to, to talk about Disney with everyone. 
So I decided I'm going to start a podcast. And I've been listening to Disney podcasts for a while. So it became, you know, very, very natural for me to, to talk about it. And listening to the other podcasts, I thought, this is so great. I would love to do that. And one of my favorite podcasts out there, uh, the Unlocking the Magic podcast brought to you by Connie and Bruce, who hail from Boston, Massachusetts, which is a hop, skip and a jump away from me in Rhode Island. They are one of my favorites. I love li- listening to the banter between Connie and Bruce. I think they're great. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully you guys are listening. If not, I'm going to do everything in my power to get you to listen and hopefully be on the podcast someday. So every week you're going to hear me talk about my favorite things about Disney, whether it's talking about the Disney parks or talking about movies or music or books, like I said, all things Disney. If it's about Disney, you know, no stone is left unturned. With that being said, I know Disney is a very broad spectrum. There's lots to it. Why do all of that? You know, a lot of the Disney podcasts will focus on one thing with Disney, and mostly it's about traveling to the Disney parks because there's so much about it. So why go with everything Disney? Well, that is a very easy question for me because like I had said before, I run a blog called The Many Sides of Mom because when I became a mother, I got stereotyped as a mom. And I don't think that that's fair, that mom should be stereotyped. And that's, that's the only thing that you are now. You become a mother and that's it. There's more to me than just being a mom. So that's what my blog is about, the many sides of mom, because there's more to me than just that one side. So I thought my podcast has to be the same. There's more to Disney than just traveling to Disney parks or Disney movies or Mickey Mouse. I mean, we love Mickey Mouse. But there's more to Disney than just that. So that's what the podcast is going to be about. It's going to be about bringing you every side of Disney. Will we talk about Disney parks a lot? Yes, of course. But we're going to talk about the other things too. I know in the upcoming weeks, I plan on talking about some of the upcoming Disney movies. uh, Ones that have just come out. We're looking to go see the new, I guess we'll we'll call it live action, uh, The Lion King. Hopefully going to go see that very soon and get you a review on that. My thoughts, The Lion King has always been one of my favorite Disney movies, and I can't wait to bring that to you in the future. Um, I know in November we're going to go see Frozen, and I can't wait to get you my thoughts on that. I know my daughter is probably going to come on the show, and we'll talk about that with her um, and see what she thinks. She's a big Frozen fan. Frozen was her very first favorite Disney movie, so I can't wait for you guys to hear about that. And with an upcoming trip to Disney World, we are going in February, and I'm going to be talking a lot about the the traveling there and the process that we go through with with getting there. So I'm really excited to talk about that with you guys as well. With that being said, I'm also going to talk about in the second half of this show, I'm going to talk about a little bit about advanced dining and that kind of thing. But more on that later. So there's lots to it. There's lots to Disney. So I'm going to be bringing you all of that. All Disney, everything Disney. So each show that you're going to hear from me uh, every week is going to be about, I want to say about 30 to 40 minutes long, give or take. This show is going to be probably a little bit less just because it's kind of an intro show. We're going to talk a little bit about advanced dining as well, but we um, usually the shows will probably be a little bit longer than today's show. Hopefully I will be able to get some uh, co-hosts for the show. I know that I would like to get my husband on the show because he has some really great opinions on Disney. And like I said, you'll get to hear from my daughter as well. She already said that she wants to be on the podcast. She's seen my microphone at home and she's like, mommy, what's that? I told her, you know, I'm going to start recording and have a podcast. She's all excited about it. And my sister is actually taking a Disney cruise in January. So I'm hoping to have her on the show because I've never been on a Disney cruise. So I want to hear all about it, the pros and cons and everything. So I want to hear about that. And so, like I said, you're mostly going to hear about my opinions. You're going to hear my voice. But if you want your opinions on the show, you want to be on the show, you have questions or anything, feel free to reach out. I'm going to leave the email in the show notes so you can reach out to me. Questions, comments, advice, thoughts, anything. Shoot it my way. I am so excited about this show. So that's, that's you know, what you 
the show is all about. You're going to hear from me, hear about my thoughts about Disney, and let's take it to the other half of the show. So, like I said earlier in the show, um, I was going to introduce the the podcast to you guys, tell you kind of what I'm all about, and then I was going to talk a little bit about advanced dining. So, advanced dining, for those who don't know, is making advanced dining reservations for your Walt Disney World trip. Now, for those who have a trip book, they can book that out about 180 days before their trip. So usually I've got a countdown on everything going right up until that right up until that day. So I will set an alarm the night before, usually waking me up at anywhere from 6 to 7 o'clock. And then as soon as I'm awake, I jump on the computer. I've usually got my list handy of restaurants that we're looking for. And I go from there. Sometimes I get what I want. Sometimes I don't. This past time, uh, we just did advanced dining about two weeks ago as I'm taping this. And I am lucky enough that I got everything that we were looking for. We scored some really great reservations. We're having dinner at Be Our Guest. If you're a frequenter of Walt Disney World, you know that's a tough one. You know that if you are booking advanced dining reservations, that's one of the first ones you try and get. So we got dinner at Be Our Guest. We got dinner at Cinderella's Royal Table. I'm so excited about those. I think my husband's a little bit more excited about Be Our Guest than Cinderella's Royal Table. But I'm very excited about those. They're both character dining, for those who don't know. Um, at Be Our Guest for breakfast and lunch, I believe it is quick service. But at dinner, it is um, a table service, and it is a signature meal. So it is two dining credits. And you also get to meet the Beast. We're very excited about that. I'm not sure if my daughter is quite excited about meeting the Beast, but we have told her time and time again that he's really friendly and she will love him. So we'll see how that goes. So we're very excited about that. We also got some really great dining. We are staying at the Wilderness Lodge. It's our first time staying there, first time staying deluxe. So we're very excited about that to see what, how that compares to the value resorts and the moderate resorts. So we're excited about that. We also got dining at Artist Point our first night there. So we have the storybook dining with Snow White. Emma's very excited about meeting Snow White and Dopey and Grumpy. She's a little hesitant about meeting the evil queen, but she she's kind of excited. We're trying to talk her into it, so we'll see if she actually meets her. We also got some reservations at some other great places, our usual spots, um, Hollywood and Vine over at Hollywood Studios. They do a Disney Junior breakfast, and it is absolutely one of M's favorites. The last time we were there, she got to see, uh, she got to meet Vampirina for the first time, so she was super excited about that. And we know that since then, Sophia the First has unfortunately left, and she has been replaced with Fancy Nancy. So M is very, very excited about meeting Fancy Nancy. We can't wait for that. And we are trying a couple of places again, places that we have gone before that we were not quite thrilled with, but we decided, you know what? We're going to give it a second chance. We're going to give it another try, see how it goes. One of those being Hollywood Brown Derby. We tried it once on M's very first trip. We had gone with a bunch of friends and um, we tried it and Will and I didn't really like it. We weren't that thrilled with it. So we were like, yeah, no, we're going to pass. We're not going to do that one again. But this time we decided, you know what, let's try it again. Let's give it another go. If we still aren't that crazy about it afterwards, then we will just skip it from, from then on in. Um, and another one that we are trying that I wasn't too thrilled with the last time we were there, could have just been an off day, we'll say that, was Coral Reef. And we got reservations to go there again. So I'm going to give it another try. Hopefully, I'm, you know, I've got my fingers crossed that we'll get a table right next to the aquarium. So we're right up there with the fish and we'd be so excited about that. If not, it's still a really cool restaurant. Inside's really great. Um, so hopefully, you know, it'll turn around this time. So advanced dining, you want to make sure if you've got the dining plan that you go for that, that you get out there 180 days before your trip and you book those reservations. It's really important. Otherwise, you know, 
you could think that it's just kind of a waste of a credit if you're not getting, you know, the reservations that you want. I don't necessarily believe that. I don't necessarily think it's a waste because I think dining anywhere in Disney is fantastic. All the food there, I don't think I've ever had a meal in Disney where I was like, that's garbage. I've always enjoyed the food that I've had there. There have only been a couple of times where I, like I've said, I've been like, yeah, I don't know about that place, but we're giving another shot. So let's see. We'll see how it goes. So advanced dining, the big thing with advanced dining is that when you have the dining plans, it's, it's good to go out there, especially if you have um, the Disney dining plan or the um, deluxe dining plan, that you go out there and get those reservations. So you might be thinking, well, Kristen, what's up with the dining plans? I'm not really sure about it. What's up with that? Well, I will go into dining plans in another episode into further detail, but there's three tiers. There's the quick service, which gives you a couple of quick service credits. You can't make reservations with them, but they are good for any of the quick service restaurants. There's the regular dining plan that does one dining credit that you can use for table service, and then a quick service credit. And then there is the deluxe dining plan, which gives you three dining credits that can be used either at table service or quick service. It's up to you. And they all come with two snacks each. And that's per night of your stay. We always think that it's a great idea to do it. Making those reservations, you can use your credits towards that reservation. That way you don't have to worry about the cost in, in the end. You know, you can go to a really nice restaurant there for one table service credit and you could order, you know, a $60 steak or something like that. <laughs> I don't know if they actually have a place with a $60 steak. If they do, send me a message so I know. But you could go somewhere and have, you know, a $60 steak and it's covered by your dining plan. That way you're not pulling the money out of your wallet at, at the end of the night. You know, I think it's great. We always do the dining plan and we really love it. We usually do the deluxe because with the deluxe, you can get the table service for pretty much every meal of your day. And with that, you can meet some great characters. And we prefer to do it that way, to do characters during our dining. That way we're not standing there waiting in line. Um, for, gosh, sometimes it can be up to 40 minutes to meet a character. I know that we've waited in line to meet Anna and Elsa. It's, they're one of the only princesses that you can't meet in a restaurant, usually. Um, and usually their waiting can, can be pretty hectic. But we always wait to meet them because Emily just loves them. So advanced dining, always a key thing to do when you're booking your trip. Book it. You know, you can book eight, 180 days out. I highly recommend it. We got some great ones this time. Sometimes we haven't been so lucky, but this time it really worked in our advantage. I love doing it. I think everybody should do it, but that's just my opinion. So, well, looking at the time, this is going to wrap up for our show today. I am so excited that you guys tuned into the very first episode of Disney Life Happy Wife. I'm Kristen. I'm so happy again. <laughs> again, I can't say it enough how happy I am that you guys tuned in to listen to my show. If you guys have any questions or anything that you think I should talk about on the show, feel free to send me an email. I will put that in the show notes for today. And you can also DM me or message me on social media. You can find me on Instagram at Disney Life Happy Wife Podcast, or you can head over to my blog, The Many Sides of Mom. It's www.manysidesofmom.com. I've got a podcast page there, which you'll be able to find episodes there, as well as iTunes and Spotify. And you can also find me on Instagram at Many Sides of Mom. So you can find me either places. Like I said, I'm going to put the email into the show notes. And thank you, thank you, thank you again for checking out the show. We will see you guys next week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.